Hi guys, this is Zach from Watches On You, and today we're going to be doing a little bit different of a video than what we normally do. Today we're actually going to be doing a review of the Kershaw Leak pocket knife. Now, if you're a subscriber, you may have seen our poll asking whether we should expand into EDC gear as well as doing watch videos, and if we were to do this, it'd be maybe one video about every two weeks. So this is just going to be our first EDC video on the channel and leave a comment in the d below if you want us to continue doing a few videos like this a month or if you'd rather us just stick to watches. But going back to this video. So the Kershaw leak is really the one of the most popular everyday carry pocket knives. And it's because it's just, it's so thin and very, very just carryable in general. And it's got a cool flipper tab up top. So I actually got this knife with my own money as another addition to my collection. Just because I had, I would carry my Spyderco Tenacious, but this knife, I just, it just got too big for me. And I wanted to have something that was smaller to carry more easily every day. So I thought the Kershaw Leak would be a good option just because it's really the most, one of the most popular knives out there. So I thought there must be a lot of good to it. So now I'm gonna borrow a little bit from the YouTuber Nick Shabazz, if you guys know who he is, who usually will go over the great, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I'm gonna go over the, the good, the okay, and the bad. So starting off with the good, I really love the design of this piece. The just the overall, um, I'd say, effectiveness for its size is great. It has a three-inch blade and it fits it in an extremely thin handle. And I think that's due to the fact that this watch actually, uh, this um, knife, sorry, actually uses a frame lock versus a liner lock. An example of that would be the Tenacious, where it has a liner lock right there. And so that just allows it to be a bit thinner as you don't need liners as well. And that also doesn't really make this make this knife any less rigid because it does have stainless steel, a fully stainless steel handle. Now, adding to that, there are a lot of different combinations of this knife. And that's actually one of the other good things about this. If you don't like the color or something of this knife, you can always find one that you do. There are orange, there's one with orange handle be blast blade, they make carbon fiber ones, basically any combination of colors you could ever dream of, you probably will be able to find one. And right away I'll actually let you know that we're leaving some links in the description to this knife if you want to check some of those out. So this piece though, yeah, the space efficientness of this piece is very, very good. It really keeps this knife, it really fills, fills up the whole handle, so they really made this handle as small as they could, which I really like, because that's one of the reasons why I bought this piece. I thought it'd be very small and easy to carry, and it's also very, very thin, which I like as well, very easy to put in the pocket, and it's got a very nice pocket clip, good spring tension right there, no problems with that overall. So now I'm gonna move into the OK. So first off in the OK, really the one thing that I'm gonna mention here is the steel of this knife. So it uses 14 C28N steel, and that's, it's still a budget steel, but it's OK. Oops, sorry for bumping the camera there. But, so the steel on this knife, it's, it's an okay steel. It's gonna hold an edge pretty well. It's just not gonna last as long as some of the others. It is equivalent to roughly a 18 or an 8CR13 MOV, if you know that. Just roughly kind of that level of steel. And so basically, just know it's gonna hold an edge well enough for every to carry, though. You shouldn't have a huge problem with that unless you're cutting boxes all day. Then I'd say maybe look for a higher end steel that will hold an edge longer. But really, I you shouldn't have a huge problem with this knife. Now, Going into the bad, so first off on the bad here, I would like to mention the flipper tab and the action. So actually the flipper tab is good because it's very, very small, but the action on this knife, I really don't like. I had a, I had a Tack Force a long time ago, and if you don't know that brand, they make like crappy $6 knives, and the one I had was, it was really, really bad, but this action just actually kind of reminds me of it. It's kind of scratchy. It's not, it doesn't feel super well lubricated like some of the higher end flippers do. And I just, I was expecting more for a $40 knife versus a $6 knife when really it's fairly similar. I mean, it is better, but it's not as much better as I thought it would be. 
Uh, I, there are some other knives at this price point that have better ones. And I think part of the reason though that this doesn't feel that good, to me at least, is because it uses Kershaw speed safe technology, which what that is is just a spring that sits inside there. So once you get the knife out to a certain point, it will flick it all the way open for you again. Now, that gives it a reliableness in the in that it will always open whenever you hit that tab, but it also doesn't really provide the smoothest action. It's just kind of, it just doesn't feel lubricated and high quality, if you know what I'm talking about. I feel like they should have either put some higher quality washers in there or even done bearings or something just to make it feel nicer as it comes out. Now, one other thing that's a bad for this watch, it, uh, for this knife, sorry, I'm still, still on the um, habit of doing watch views. But, so on this knife, one th other thing I don't like about it is the clip, at least for me, if you're a righty, you definitely won't have this problem. But for me, being, a, I'm actually a lefty, so you can't switch the clip to the other side of the knife. It only has a two position clip, so you can do tip up or tip down right-handed carry where you have it on this side. But if you're putting it, if you're using it as a lefty, you have no option to put the clip on this side, which is one thing I really don't like about that. I mean, I could definitely get used to pulling it out, using it like in this configuration, or but I would much rather have it have a clip a four-way clip like most a lot of knives do so that's so one actually other thing that i forgot to mention though for the good of this knife is that it came extremely sharp so if i open it up here that's actually the safety by the way which is a good feature because this knife does shoot open so the one thing is it came very very sharp though i mean if you it just shreds through paper because this steel it will take a very nice edge so there, it just sh absolutely shreds through it, which is very, very nice. And that's one thing I really, really like. Also, the tip on this blade, it is just a razor edge, if I can focus it on there. It just, it's extremely, extremely pointy right there. So if you ever need to stab anything, I mean, this is a very good knife to do so. And so the blade sharpness and everything, no problems there. I just really didn't like the action on this. So that's leading into my conclusion. So overall, I ordered this knife for myself, as I said before, with my own money, expecting it to be a great addition just as a nice smaller knife. Now, I probably actually am going to end up returning this piece just because I don't think the action on this knife is worth $40. And also, there are just some of the fit and finish things just kind of, it just reminds me of that cheap knife and that might just be me that thinks it doesn't feel as high quality as it should, but I, I just don't feel like it's worth $40. And it may be $40 because the fact that it is made in the USA, which being an American, I really love that. But I still don't think just being made in the USA should justify a knife being charged for $40 of this quality. And actually, the suggested retail by Kershaw is about $75 for this, which I think is totally ridiculous. And you can obviously, no one is really basically charging that full price. And so if you really, if this is like exactly what you're looking for, I would say I would, it's still a good knife. The ergos are very nice on this piece, but I just, I don't, do not like the action on this. And I think a lot of other YouTube videos, they're talking about how great it is. I think that they might, they're embellishing it a little bit. It's not basically the holy grail of knives. They're definitely a lot better and including my Tenacious. And actually we're going to be doing a comparison video of these two, because these are two knives that I really went through considering between when I was actually purchasing my Tenacious and I just think this one feels higher quality but more in that comparison video. So yeah overall I don't think this watch this knife sorry again did it again is worth $38 in the end. I think there are better options out there even in this size for that price but we're actually going to be leaving an Amazon link in the description if you want to purchase this watch still and or check and learn more about it. But thank you guys for watching this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.